Already? <laughs> <laughs> well, these days, uh, Korea's uh, monochromatic painting uh, brings a great interest and attention from the global society. This in overall means the new trend of Asia that is a finger painting, the modern plex classism. Uh, who's the artist that you can suggest to be the key representative within the new modern classicism from Asia? And uh, spe specifically, who do you uh, want to suggest as a finger painter in this new modern art? Well, I think for uh, finger painting, uh, Guru Kim is the leading uh, exponent of finger painting in Korea. Mm. Uh, I don't really know of any finger uh, painters in China. There mm. may be some, but if so, I'm not aware of them. Uh, but uh, students of Liu Song do experiment, as I mentioned, uh, with applying the, the, uh, the ink or colors to uh, paper, usually, uh, with something other than the brush, whether with cork stamps or with one that paper that they stamp, and other methods, too. But uh, given that there is a movement to to uh, <clears throat> find new ways of applying pigment or ink uh, to the silk or paper ground, there may well be uh, additional ink painters, uh, excuse me, additional finger painters uh, as well. But uh, part of the Gonsequa or monochrome uh, painting movement, uh, there are a number of um, uh, painters active in Korea, uh, Park Circle, for example, and uh, certainly others as well. Uh, but one of the things that I've been astonished to see here in New York on this trip um, is that there is an exhibition pairing Korean Bansak paintings with American minimalist paintings. Uh, I saw an exhibition at a commercial gallery yesterday uh, that had uh, Park Sebo and uh, uh, several other artists paired together with Western artists like Agnes Martin. And so this interest in Korean monochrome painting and pairing it with American minimalism was very interesting. Uh, Liu Han was uh, represented as well, for example. And then I learned that uh, this weekend, uh, uh, K Auction from Seoul uh, will have an exhibition and I think an auction as well uh, in uh, uh, some rooms at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. So that there is growing interest in particularly Korean monochrome paintings, the Don kinds of painting in America. And that's very exciting to see. These, these artists uh, uh, have been active since the 1960s, 1970s, beginning with, uh, beginning with uh, uh, Kim Hwang Gi, an artist like that, but continuing today. And they resonate with American minimalist painters. Some of Park Sebo's work, for example, uh, uh, resemble, but actually are done earlier than similar works by Cy Twombly, for example. So it's very interesting to see this movement and uh, to see it recognized in New York now. But not just New York, throughout America and in Europe as well. So it's exciting.